24/7 teachers training a lesson by lesson tutorial for homogeneous teaching we are an edtech textbook publisher bismillahir rahmanir rahim assalamu alaikum dear teacher i welcome you on behalf of the snowman publishers to an online tutorial on second half of chapter 2 of science grade 5 which covers microorganisms and we will be covering the topic advantages and disadvantages of microorganisms the video will cover advantages of microorganisms disadvantages of microorganisms infection so let's get started with the teaching plan greet the students with a smile and ask them how they are This will develop a welcome rapport of yourself with the students, so that they are comfortable in giving responses and asking questions. Then, introducing the lesson with a quick recap of what the students already know. Remember to always start building a new lesson upon the previous knowledge of the students. Hence, you may ask them the questions like, "What are the different groups of microorganisms?" Are all the microorganisms bad? Keep connecting their answers with new questions so that a foundation to the lesson is developed. This will help the students revise characteristics of plants. Keep writing the responses on the board. Ask the students if they have heard the word germ. What do they think it means? What does germs do? Then, with the help of the textbook. Tell them about the disadvantages of microorganisms. Tell them about different diseases they cause. Also tell them about the food spoilage caused by microorganisms. With the help of the textbook, tell the students that not all microorganisms are bad. In fact, some are very useful to us. Tell them how they fight bad bacteria in our body, make good products in our body. and are used to produce different medicines also tell them the role of microorganisms in the food industry show them the pictures of different products prepared with their help you can prepare yogurt in the class explain to students how yogurt is a culture of bacteria with the help of the textbook explain to the students what an infection is Tell them that when they get ill due to microorganisms, they actually get infected by them. Tell them how they multiply in their bodies and make them sick. With the help of a chart, tell them about different infections caused by viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Ask the students if they know how germs enter our bodies. Write their answers on the board and appreciate them. Then. with the help of the textbook tell them about different ways in which microorganisms enter into our bodies conduct a discussion in the class on how we can avoid microorganisms from entering our bodies so that they cannot cause infections show them the pictures of different hygiene practices and habits we can adopt to stay healthy also explain to the students with the help of the textbook different ways of avoiding infection with the help of the students quickly recap the lesson try to increase the student participation more for homework you can ask the students to make a poster showing the ways in which they can avoid infections thank you honorable teacher for your listening allah hafiz